All right, well, while we're getting some work done around here, getting everything settled in for this storm, it's about 34 degrees out here. I think it's coffee time. That, uh, that little grill is seasoning in nicely, but I think it's time to try out some new coffee stuff. So check this out. All right, for Christmas this year, my good neighbors bought me a nice cup and a bowl and brew French press system from Stanley. So I'm excited to try that. And the beautiful wife got me some Camp Craft Outdoor Coffee. And this particular one is Boone's Blend, 100% Arabic light roast. So we're gonna give that a shot in the French press. Let me get everything cleaned up and we'll get started. All right, let's go ahead and get some water on the bowl. Is my gas gonna light? Did I mention how cold it was? This is the problem with butane. 34 degrees and it ain't hitting on nothing so we're gonna have to carry this party inside all right so we switched out the butane for some propane and we're gonna get that going so I'm gonna do about a half of a pot of water here Because I actually got a couple of different things I want to try. So, let's see if that lid will sit on there. Okay, lid sits on there. There are some graduated marks in there. Um, but, to be honest with you, I don't know exactly what they are. So... We'll just guess that's a, uh, I would say the coffee people would consider that two cups of coffee. They consider it six ounces. I got about 12 ounces of water in there. We'll bring that up to a bowl and then we'll start our steeping process. Well, you know, part of a coffee series or making camp coffee is learning new stuff. So I took this lid that came off this Stanley press and was sitting on top of the cup. And I'm thinking, you know, that cup's getting hot and that has a bit of a gasket on it. And I'm a little concerned about that getting hot and not having a good seal. So I started looking around and I carry a, this is just a Pathfinder single wall stainless steel cup. But I had bought an aftermarket a lid from Lost Wind Outdoors. And I used to know the guy's name that owned that company, but I can't think of it right off the bat. But it's a universal lid to fit most round cups. And it sets perfect on top of that thing. It's indented a little bit. So it sits on there, it wobbles a little bit. But that would give me a nice lid. I think putting a lid on something like this helps increase the, uh, the efficiency of the container and give me a little bit more rapid boil time. Just a little tip, find you a good metal lid. All right, we got a good roll and boil. We're gonna cut that off. Uh, let's see, we're gonna need a glove here. <clears throat> that off the burner we can get rid of this and I went back and measured and the water level is to right here and that's 16 ounces so I'm thinking this is probably a 32 ounce container so since I've got 16 ounces we're just going to use my regular old coffee scoop Dump that right in there. Uh, 
All right, give that a quick stir. Don't have my spoon handy. We just use the spatula. Stir that around a little bit. Go ahead and set the press on top. Push it down to where it just touches the top. Put the lid on it. Let's pour a little spout thing to the thing. There we go. We're going to wait three minutes. All right. Well, our three minutes is almost over. So we are doing a making coffee series. So let's just go ahead and discuss what we learned. Number one, get you a good lid to go on top of this thing if you want to. Make sure you don't compromise the plastic lid. And uh, I told you where I found that. Uh, this, uh, this gas, this Coleman gas, is a mixture of propane and butane. Uh, where does it say that? It says it on there somewhere. Anyway, it says it's a blended fuel. It got down into the 20s last night, and I guess it was just too cold for that in the pocket rocket. So either have some place to keep that warm or have a backup because our propane did work, and it was in the same compartment. Uh, I thought it would have been the opposite, but there you go. Uh, the coffee we're using today is from Camp Craft. And Jason Hunt would be more than happy to hook you up with some of that coffee. Uh, Campcraft Outdoors is where you can find it. And today's selection is Campcraft Coffee Boone's Blend uh, Light Roast. So, let's go ahead and give this a gentle but slow press. And uh, we'll see how it does. Just about anywhere you travel in the world, you're going to find people who will prefer a French press as far as a way of consuming their coffee. So this is not anything new by any stretch of the imagination, but I can tell you that all French press coffees are not the same. Some coffees work better and um, People have different ways that they do it. They put the coffee in, they bring it to a boil, they, they boil their coffee and then add it. I don't like adding my coffee to the water until after it has had a chance to uh, cool down just a little bit. I don't want it to be at a full boil. I think it has a, uh, uh, a very good chance most of the time at scorching that coffee. All right, we'll see how hot it is, and uh, let's give it a taste test. The coffee is good. The French press, it really does a nice job. You know, you get away from being able a lot of time with the pour overs and, um, a percolator coffee pot is uh, used to be like the standard for camp coffee because you didn't have filters and it was kind of a light boil and then we got into cowboy coffee and the different ways that you do that but there runs a chance of overcooking that coffee when you do it In any of those methods and I gotta tell you this is nice because you know you're bringing that water up to a boil and letting it cool down a little bit so that's a good cup of coffee and it's good coffee so we're going to start a rating scale of a scale of one to five and uh, with this being the first one we tested out I can't go to five yet So I think we're going to rate this first one, not because of its comparison to others, but just because it's the first at like a three plus. Uh, that'll give us kind of a middle of the road to judge ways that we don't like it as well and ways that we really like it. And we'll save that five forever who wins this little uh, 
experiment of making the best camp call. Well, as you can see, we've moved back into cabin because there is one aspect during our reviews we need to talk about, and that's the cleanup. So I pull the top off, and that looks pretty clean. That's not bad. The filter system, there is definitely some debris in the bottom of that, so we need to wash that out. So I'll take my little sprayer here. Clean that out. Alright, back flushing that seems to do a pretty good job. Okay, that's much better. And then we have all of the coffee grounds left inside the cup. And I think you're going to have a hard time seeing that. So let's shine a little light in there. See if we can help the situation out a little bit. So you can see all these grindings left in there. So we've got to do something about that. We, can, uh, we can't have that for next time. So I'll shake it out. But even after shaking it out, there's still quite a bit left in there. So, let's see what we can do with a paper towel. Alright, a little bit better. But we still need to rinse it out. And yeah, I got it on my hand. So... This is going to take a little bit of work to get cleaned up and ready for next time. So, the quality of the coffee was really good. The ability to boil in your container and then use that as your French press, that's excellent. But you do still have the cleanup associated with a French press and that's any French press coffee system that you're going to use you're going to have to go through these steps to clean it out before you pack that up and have it ready for your next trip so we'll let this dry out a little bit and put that away but with that being said I think our our rating system for this particular application is going to stay at three Okay, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for joining me. I'm Tim Langston with Red Dog Bushcraft, home of global safety and survival. Hope you enjoyed me for a day here at the cabin, just making a little coffee out in the back of the truck. Till next time, God bless.